morning. Thank you so very much for staying with us here at Y in the morning. If you're just tuning in, karibu nani ya ukofreshi barida. Kulikuwa nakabaridi kadogo tu in early in the morning, morning, but now I can see sunshine. Okay, ni meumbandu. Sorry. Karibu, this is at Y54 Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag of the days, Y in the morning, or WCW, because we're crushing on our queens. Now, previously, to Likwana Ramaguko, the real amazing man with strength of a woman. And there were, I heard something about covert things, but if you missed that interview, and I took our YouTube channel here to, we got you, all right? So now this is the part where we're asking a very tough question, and that same question is on our social media handles, of which, how do you know Una date mtu bure kabisa. Yeah. Yeah. How, how do you know that? But I want to know mtu bure kabisa na kaji first. Ndiyo <laughs> tujue. Eh. All right. The, the red flag. Red flag. Okay. I want to introduce the panelists and then we get into it. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Muna fine. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Thanks. Yes. You're shiny. Ah, they are nice to me. Mm -hmm. uh, please introduce yourself. Um, my name is Diana Nangila. Mm -hmm. Um, I have uh, founded a CBO, it's called Community for Kids, and what we do is we offer talent training solutions. Wow. Yes. What is the talent training solution? Uh, so, um, right now, um, with the CBC programs in schools, the teachers have a hectic time finding, um, uh, finding tutors for um, programs such as um, martial arts, gymnastics, acrobatics athletics mm -hmm. so um what they're doing are very basic programs so what we do is offer pro um, complex programs for them mm -hmm. we outsource teachers qualified teachers trained and certified mm -hmm. for example our gymnastic teachers are people who are well traveled and so we connect them to the schools so they train they we um for afi of course we mm -hmm. we offer the solutions to the schools and they we offer their programs for the kids yes but to ask you know, some martial arts Yes, they, yes, it's a ah. talent based, it's a computer, yes, ah. absolutely. Ah. So that's why Nani was telling me school fees in a kind of ridiculous right now. Yes, it is. I mean, something, nothing good comes easy except salvation. Yeah, Amen! Yeah. Woo! And it's free. Free, yes. don't free, ever free, pay free. to be saved, please. <laughs> Shara, what's your name? Uh, my name is Washina Teresa. Mm -hmm. I'm a finalist student, mm -hmm. uh, journalism and mass communication at Masinde Muliro University of Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. Done with the schoolwork, waiting for graduation. Where? Sunaskia so Ah. And what is the first fit. order of business? We we'll take hiatus to we'll for the next two months. Ama unaingia to tamak immediate. No, I'm not tamaking. Uh -huh. Um, I think I've got my own plan at hand. Yes. Akuna kutamaki in Jesus' name. Yes. 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 You know, but I wanted to balance. Jupiter sees it on a little bit toxic traits. Let's just be honest, okay? We're not yeah. perfect. Hey, the least of us in the not lazima to defund the kunyamaza shuali, all right? <laughs> so, what do you, what's your take on to bure kabisa? Like, what does that even mean? Um, this is in, um, in regards to someone who you're dating. To bure kabisa, this is someone who's there for nothing more, nothing more than marriage. For me, that is someone who's useless. Nothing, nothing more than marriage. Or yes, I mean, if the if the goals are, if the end goal of whatever relationship you're in is not to build a family and an institution, long term goals, I think that's absolutely boring, Kabisa. What do you think is boring? Hey, for me, Mr. Bore, <laughs> <coughs> it's someone who, who doesn't have um, a plan on you. You know. Somebody, somebody who doesn't think of your future together. Mm -hmm. Somebody who just sees today. Yes, you're servicing him. You're giving him his benefits, and that's all. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> you're servicing him actually. So you're the like. On the set, or? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So it's like you're just somewhere. When he feel bored, he's just calling you, chilling in with you, mm -hmm. and you know. So he doesn't have a future plan on you. So he's really bored. Could it be a problem that it's 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 a him thing? Like Monye at a future judgeria. Like Monye, if you ask him his five year plan, like what do you expect? Me employers, I don't know why they keep asking us such things. But eh, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Actually that's a problem that we have today with the young people today. Mm -hmm. Because you find most of the people here 
uh, there is this thing we call adult children. We are still in our parents' house. Na time yako seriously ya kumove out imefika, but you're still there. Yes, you're dating. Mm-hmm. You don't have a future. You've not moved out of your mommy's house. You're being provided for. So how will you plan for the person you're dating? Okay. It's a problem. First of all, this is, this is not a back and forth, as in one to one to feel free. If you hear something you know, <coughs> that's making you squirm a little bit on the inside, just slap us with it. Mm-hmm. All right. Hashtag for you is in the morning. And please also participate if uh, you, it's, it's touching you somewhere. All right. Uh-huh. So now what happens if you yourself, you don't have a focus? Why should the person you're dating have a focus? I mean, birds of a feather, no? Flock together. Yeah. I mean, that's true. That's why we have so many useless relationships out here <laughs> that end up in unwanted babies. Too much problems rather than solutions. I mean... For me, my whole perspective on a relationship has to come, has to go back to church. And this is a newly adopted mindset. Mm-hmm. I'm speaking as someone who has um, been in the world, so to say. And um, can you bring back the question, please? <laughs> Did I touch somewhere? You had a thought and then it yes, took you and somewhere. Then I yelled, forgive me. Yes, yes, no problem. It's okay. I was mm-hmm. asking if if we have the confidence to say mtuni bure kabisa just because they're not focused yes. but vis-a-vis i might have attracted that kind of person juata mimi maybe we'll seen a focus ah, yeah. so the problem is why are we in these relationships in the first place mm. that's the whole the, that's the main problem um because most of us are there because um well i need support i need my house to get paid i need to look where well, i need i need a new dress mm-hmm. i need someone to take me out so the relationship the foundation of why you're doing this relationship is wrong so I mean, in the end, you, you, you end up, you're both wrong because this person is also entertaining you and you're entertaining them for the wrong purposes. How, how do you know it's, it's wrong and it's not <laughs> love? <laughs> and I do this because I don't think love is an emotion. Love is an action. Like you choose oh, okay. love every day. You, you, you choose to chill mm-hmm. and, and maybe work it out however you need to, but it's, it's an action, it's a doing work. So how do you know that it's not I'm any puppy love, or just love at first sight, eh. mm-hmm. and it's not a red flag? I, I, think, I think you need to have mentors, people, you need to be looking onto someone's, someone who is doing relationship goals. You need to um if go squarely it down. Yeah, surely. Well yeah. Every five seconds I'm barrier na tuambia wa me achana na you kwanza a whole nation, some attack you West Africans anymore. Kidog dogo or s g nani as in this is a lot. If you've decided to follow Ambare and then well you will fall into the same traps she is falling into. And mm-hmm. if you decide to follow someone if you A Kofe, Queen of Single Mothers. Na oh. tatu ongezea wengine and she's not afraid. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. I think if that's what you want then for, by all means go for it. But then you know that's you're not building a relationship. You're not building a long-term relationship. You're not building towards a marriage. You're not building towards having a family and a one-unit family where you can because you need support from both parents. So being a single mother, we love them. They're strong. They've helped us. But that's not the way God intended it to be. We need to be yeah. couples. Uh, you know, I feel that uh, young people today, or most of the people today, even they not young people, even the middle-aged, mm. uh, we've lost focus on dating. Mm. We are dating because other people are dating. Mm. We are dating because, okay, someone is just going to ask you, are you single? Are you dating? Mm. Who are you dating? You know, mm. We are dating because we don't want to be single. Mm-hmm. We are dating because we don't want to be lonely. Mm-hmm. We are dating because the social media is giving us that platform. Yeah, and we are normalizing actually dating for it's fun. Cold. Uh-huh. Yeah, you see even like this cold season, you, you know, people are just asking you, eh, nahi, nahi weather, you know. Well, yeah, the so reason why people are dating are wrong. The reason yeah. why people are dating literally mm. they are very wrong mm-hmm. so you find us always in the wrong relationships for the wrong reasons mm. yeah well all right okay so so eh, if you're just joining us please you know lisa in a relationship setting to bure kabisa ni nani that means king you can answer me at ukiona dem kubure kabisa let us know and tell us why i love for goes for the queens as well if you feel like king is mr 
okay, not done. But why are you there in the first place? Mbono li jingiza hapa. Mbono na kuja kutukompleni. Na ukisike mautamu, wa utu ambi. Mbono atusike uchungu si wote. Why? You know there is this thing we call first impression. Mm -hmm. You can find a very nice guy, good looking, and you know your first impression of him. Yeah, you have I've heard you saying a first love, That's first it. sight love. love. Uh, love at mm -hmm. first sight. I think and then you fall, but I don't believe in love at first sight mm -hmm. anyway, because you have to learn that person, you have to learn his characters, his way of thinking so for you, you to, him. yeah, so that you can have a goal and, yeah. you know, you want to be with him. You have to know exactly who am I getting into. Ama who am I dealing with? You know, people have got even a lot of spirits in mm. them. So, loving somebody at first sight and even don't know what he's carrying. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's, I don't I believe in that. ignorance is, I also, yeah. to add on to what you say, <laughs> ignorance is like the biggest. Uh, I will talk, uh, yeah, I will address the young people, my youth, the young, the young guys, the people who are dating for the wrong reasons. We ignore the reality of life as it is. Things are so spiritual and so, um, you're going to find yourself in a wrong relationship if your end goal is not the one thing that is supposed to be for. If you're doing it for money, if you're doing it for status, if you're a social climber, if, mm -hmm. you, if you're just doing it to satisfy your friends, and then you're hanging around the wrong friends, find someone who has the same goal as you, and then move towards it. So if your goal is to be a whore, then, well, you have friends who are doing the same. And if you're selling yourself for whatever benefits, if you're in a relationship for benefits, it does not matter if you're not being handed cash if you're doing it for some benefit that is other than marriage, you're absolutely in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Remember, it's at WhatFive on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, WhatFive for underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag is WCW or Y in the morning. See, now both of you have brought something to the table. I like that you're in sync because I have questions. Now, I'll tell you a small story. There's this I don't know if you remember this Nini Kwani Twaji. No, I've forgotten, but kwa C series particularly it's a local one. Jinake likwa Aida. Mbona skumbuki yo series. Hina Pita took dogo. Anyway, so she had an exclusive interview the other day and she was talking about how she was she to say my moka at a young age. Oh Aida, mother in law. Hey, there we go. There we go. So let us break it down for you. Hey! Yes. I be telling poor story because me, it gave me goosebumps. I okay. had nothing to do with anything, mm -hmm. but I was tired. <laughs> just okay. by, so Shorty works hard, works hard. Asha Moka by 19, 20, she's making a little bit of money and mm -hmm. what, what, what. She's been having enough now to take care of her mom and stuff like that. I understand she's been raised by a single mother also. Yes. Yes. So, Shorty is church based. You understand? Mm -hmm. Not that it means mm -hmm. a spirituality. Yes. Uh -huh. And that's how her life has been. In fact, her father figure as according to the interview was is, as a bishop at the church I, I don't know if it's bishop that particular chair or you can make a say i hope not but someone elderly or an elder of such in church uh -huh. so baby girl does think does think dog dogo she's being courted is courtship not dating or not of out the admin the classes genie Let's just be honest. I'm going to I ah, <laughs> ah, anointed one. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, baby girl. So she gets married to this person who is also in the same church. That's they're serving, and then also senior person in the church. Nyof, nyof, nyof. Uh -huh. Two months into the marriage, gender-based violence. Baby girl is being hit around. Yani. By the time she was telling us the story, she cannot remember how many times she's been beaten. She passes out, wakes up. I don't even know where I am now. Like, what, what did I do now? Like, ah, nilipigwa nani. And stayed there for one year. Because uh, come people will be like, ah, God hates divorce. Okay, so ni kufe. Nah, okay. Ah, uh, simesema mutaki ni tuachane. Simulisema marriage must be the ultimate goal, mm -hmm. otherwise it's useless. Mm -hmm. Simumesema. Yes. I am Mali, Nigeria, another bishop. Married. Eh? Yes. He married Tapadali. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kanisa everything. Mm -hmm. Elders Nya Rosashio. Yes. Auntie gospel artist has been singing for us fire fire. You, know, you, you hear her voice, you can feel Holy Spirit <laughs> descending. Calm down, you know? Auntie was also being beaten. Do you know how we found out? Mm -hmm. When he killed her. Oh god. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous. Well yeah, yeah. there are there is something like a wrong marriage. Now you're rushing into marriage for the same wrong reasons mm -hmm. you see i believe i've been i've been to i'm i've just enrolled into a spiritual class on marriage and how to um why and it, it, it's supposed to be slow 
ensure you do not rush into anything because you can get tied up with the wrong person. Ah, yeah. Last story. This one is personal to me because it's by my auntie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so oh God bless her so falls in love, eh? Now mm -hmm. she's a church girl. So uncle also came to get her from church. For like a year, courtship, 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 and now they're getting to each other slow. Mm -hmm. Slowly. Slowly. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Box selling here. Three months into the marriage, that's when she found out he's a raging alcoholic at a year. So it's I don't think you can plan these things out. I well, really, really don't. No matter exactly. how much you yeah, And like, another you thing don't. I think religion is misleading. Hey, sana, na, I but then they are re religion <laughs> is misleading people. You oh, need to okay. meet your person. Yes, me patana church, mm -hmm. but you need to meet him out of church. Know yeah. his character yeah. out of church. You know people hide people by the people are hypocritical in church. Well, that's so you the can fault tell. of the church. It's the fault of the people. It's the fault of the people, it's the fault of the pastors. How? The way you follow religion. You know, people, they have heard of marriages. People are married. Like, Ida was like, I, I was being beaten. Go to my pastor. My pastor is like, you know, a woman is supposed to, to, to take it, you know? They even went mm. for Yeah, una fao vomilie. Well. And the pastor is like, you know, this this marriage is God constituted. And so you, una fao vomilie in this marriage. And who told black women, uh, hey, our purpose in life is to suffer. Long suffering. Kabla ndio tuanze kusikia vizuri. Of which? Watu wetu wakikuwa uh -huh. kuwa, I think, Ooh. no. Of which even Ida got into the marriage, I think, because of the wrong re reasons. Actually, yeah. uh, he was dating. She was dating a church guy. Uh, the the pastor told him the guy is nice, and uh, the people whom she was going out with, the people whom she was hanging out with, were already married. Yeah. So she felt like I'm alone. You know, my friends are married, everyone so I also need. Yeah, there. everyone is married, so I need also to, to get, get married, married. without. Pressure. Yeah, without. Yeah, so she she says that she regrets getting married so early, and also following that. When you know so what I mean, You should listen to yourself to first. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I don't think marriage is the whole purpose of life. Marriage is supposed to help you follow the path to your destiny. Mm -hmm. So. Why are you in this marriage? You're supposed to find a helper. That's what the Bible will tell you. It's someone who is supposed to help you and you help them towards your destinies. So if you're getting married because you're 30 and now, well, you know, my exit mm -hmm. is Junini as a lady. Mama na kuliza uh, no, so <laughs> Auntie Yako all the time is like, you know, what? <laughs> Why? And, and people can, and people know how, and the community we live in, people know how to throw words, the path, you know, to stigmatize. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. It, do, not blame, do not blame the church. Do not blame anyone for you for getting tied to the wrong person. That is your decision. And here's the other thing. Your partner is not going to be with you in heaven or you're going to be judged solely alone. So when you're making these decisions, you need to be and you need to be sharp. You need to think ahead. You need to think of your um okay, do not forget yourself but when you're getting in you there. You know how it is when you're in love. Oh. What do you mean? You can't love? have any advice or oh. you just oh, on some twerk no, no. zip cause he yeah, can't do it. I saw then somewhere that you then can do it. If you get into a wrong relationship, <laughs> then you get beaten. And here's the thing, when you're already married, we don't want you to get divorced, you're already in there. You're supposed to now work from there. Mm -hmm. And we're not saying that when you get married to the right person, then they're all going to be problems. So they're going to be problem problems. This is coming from I'm not married, but this is I'm being told this by people who are married mm -hmm. and also what i have seen personally and have studied from my family members and etc there are always going to be problems and that we have been promised by jesus and by heaven <laughs> for until we die the fight is ongoing so the you need to minimize these risks you need to just be smart with the choices you're making and then my you remember in life niyako even when you get married at the end of it you're going to face um th that last part alone so as much as you do not forget yourself as an individual, so you're in there suffering and eating. No, 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 no. You need to differentiate. You need to separate yourself as a person so you can help the other person change. If you're feeling this person is, you, you be strong then and then help your partner get strong and get out of whatever problem they're in. Alcoholism, violence, then you need to speak. There's some underlying the, uh, mental illness or problem there. Mm -hmm. It's not, a normal person will not t pull up his hand and hit you. You'll find... Uh, I mean, uh, better solutions to solve your problems. So I don't know. You can tell me that because I'm married to a wrong part. No, no, no. I no. really like that we we touched someone. You know, you've seen how she's given us advice from top to bottom. That you did a good job. Thank you. <laughs>
you. but yes i do agree with you that not to see blame dini to see blame mm -hmm. church to see blame any other institution that is religious because i believe they're like hospitals abondani kuna mtu ako icu kuna daktari hapo ndani kuna nurse just know the difference yes. okay kuna outpatient kuna mwenye ko kwa coma just please just know the difference hashtag is the CW or why in the morning okay what happens when let's say mwenyewe umeona i'm also being toxic i'm also being a bit toxic here yes mm -hmm. nona nikaya ni mtu bure but i mbona tutakuwa hapa pamoja how do you now get yourself out of that situation how do you get back to focus where you're supposed to be going oh mm. when you start being toxic yourself mm -hmm. i think there is the drive taking you there me i feel personally i've i'm not a toxic girlfriend so mm -hmm. <laughs> i can never be toxic without the drive something driving you mm -hmm. there is that push taking you to that side so i feel if yourself is toxic and you feel that your boyfriend or so-called the right is toxic also the relationship ain't right okay, what is toxic in this what is toxic can you define toxic that's a very good question yeah what do you think toxic is what do you think toxic is is when you're you're yourself self-centered in mm -hmm. the relationship okay. everything is about, about you. yeah it's yeah, all about yeah. benefiting you yeah. so it's all about you you think oh this, this i need to control this guy to my own yeah, level my own to, yeah to my own benefit is that like a level of possession like you're mine mm -hmm. and if i can't have you yeah. no one yeah. will yeah mm. so yeah is, exactly is also yeah, it's destroy. also toxic that's not okay. clingy and or being sweet I, clinging is toxic Okay. <laughs> I feel so. <laughs> okay. I think I think what toxic. I think toxic is uh, when someone is now you're not now helping one another in the relationship because mm -hmm. we agreed from the beginning. The reason why you're in the marriage is to help one another towards your destinies, and they can be different or the same. So if you're not moving towards some future goal, because we need to get back to reality, this life is for some time. So what do you want to accomplish? during this time that you're together and you know if you found someone then you're very lucky you should count yourself very lucky so toxic toxic is when you're not concentrating on um the bigger things in life you're just concerned with the kama mechelewa, he's drunk and you know if someone is drinking and beating you then there's the first two words you you don't want to just tell them stop drinking if you want to help an addict or someone who's doing something um toxic you want to find the reason why he's doing it or they are doing it so then you if you deal with the reason then we will now solve whatever is causing so whatever yes level of commitment there yes so um i think toxic is when you don't have a future if you got married into this because you know hot love no you know, oh she's so beautiful she's so hot he's so handsome you can see he has money whatever reason why you know it's and it's up to you to like whatever you like in a person so you're now together and you've not stopped wah, wah, going wah. towards towards whatever you're supposed real. to yes so you're here now and you're already here and you're not supposed to stop divorce is never advised it's it if you're there it's up you made the she's wrong feeling decision. something talk to me talk <laughs> to me talk to me, <laughs> talk to me. <laughs> divorce is not advisable but but if you feel like divorcing that guy girl divorce no i don't think so ah, divorce mm, this is i advise I, I advise think. people to leave marriages as early as possible i advise people to leave relationships as early as that. possible as early as they start being you know there I is disagree. this there is this a uh, cycle of being a narcissist or being toxic tomorrow he start treating you good he apologizes and he be this lovey-dovey person and so you forgive him or her and go back to the same cycle to the same beating to the same hey, everything agree. to the same so if if that cycle happens once twice mm. third let's agree leave. on something here you guys met one another wherever you did in a club or whatever and then you decided hey we like each other let's go make a home and now you're in this house you know so are we talking about marriages or a boyfriend just whatever relationship you're in mm -hmm. so you made the decision so both of you made the decision to be together so there was something that you both of you liked in one another so then going on forward with the relationship you find Mm, I don't know. I don't like him anymore. He's doing things that I don't like, and I, I don't like her anymore. There's this, this. So what you've do, what you've done is disconnected. You're not now mm -hmm. speaking from. So you've lost what you were doing from before, and and I don't advise for divorce. And I will not advocate for it because what you're saying is, I will abandon this person and their issues and move on to a better person. I mean, come on, everyone. No one is perfect. 
you will move on to even your soulmate is going to have issues. And the reason why you're together is so you can help complement one another. So if you, if divorce for me is abandoning someone in a life. I feel like if you decide that you are going to be in a marriage or in a relationship with this person, then decide also to oh, help this no. person. Oh no, I don't feel, I don't feel, I don't feel. No, no, no. Let me, let me talk to you. You know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't just stay there. Let person kill you just because you, you agreed to marry him or her because you no, made a covenant. No. There are measures to take. There are measures exactly. And when that, when that person to gets extreme. to your limit, when that person gets to you, you know, you feel no, I can't take it anymore. And what, just what, live. Don't wait to be yourself. Usingoju me just because you want to this mm. marriage covenant to work. I'm at this no, marriage thing to I work. Think Right, I think you need to be take on I think I'm if you to interrupt both of you okay. and read a couple of comments take a deep breath ladies uh -huh. okay. <laughs> All right so we are asking on the comments tafadhali utajwaje una date mtu bure kabisa this is our twitter feed and we have noisy cartoon says ukiwa msika na kuambia ukunywe maji a boyfriend who would rather send you airtime ya 1000 than sending it on your mobile money we all right. Okay, so some boy says there's nothing like useless. What could be useless to you could be meaningful to me and exactly. vice versa. My bad is your good and I the agree. other way around. And Ajaya Positiva says, Akiwa supporter wa some letter politics. Swally. Tired comrade says, A useless girlfriend, dot dot, long nails, waist beads, oh extra way. makeup, party, hey, smoking and drinking <laughs> alcohol. It's only red flag signs. Long <laughs> kusema, kusema, where's wig? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. All right, so can we start bottom up? How do you feel about this particular list of how people have been categorized? I think oh, people are petty yeah, to I begin also feel with. The same. Why? I mean, come <laughs> on. If I am working at a nice place, like see yourself, how do you, you will not have, I work in a hair salon, so my nails need to be short. You work at uh, PR, pub, people need to see you, you, you need to be smart. Mm -hmm. So how do you tell me now I'm useless because I look good? It's just petty. You need to go find someone from somewhere. And, and furthermore, later. you ain't finding my nah. looking good. Just. So I'm looking good on my own self. I'm uh -huh. looking good on my own money. Uh -huh. You ain't finding that, and you call me useless. Is, is there a possibility that, that no. someone feels a bit threatened when they see you looking the way you do? Like yeah. So they want to approach you, but they're like, I so damn. I mean, the way she just looks is not cheap. So how am I going to manage her? So instead, that comes out as violence. Always. You are trying to makeup. Miss No, you know. I find feel someone who suits you. Find someone who doesn't like makeup. But find someone who doesn't like it. Then I could pend a vile uko then. You know, I feel. I feel. Have you heard of this story that ah, uyo sungura time alikuwa na taka fiki ya matunda kwa mti. Mm -hmm. Alipo shindwa, alianza kusema yu matunda imeoza. Uh -huh. So exactly. When you, uh -huh. you, you don't, kama ufiki <laughs> to the standard of that <laughs> that, that, mm. that lady, unanza kusema, oh, sijui makeup, oh, mm -hmm. sijui kucha, sijui so nini. Excuses. Mm -hmm. Excuses, For not me exactly. measuring up to yeah. Let's go back to the person you agreed with. That is Ke. Some boy says, like, smart, there's nothing like useless. What could be uh, like basically another oh, man's yeah. meat is another one's poison." Well, I don't think because they, there are options. Like you said, uh, I don't think because there are options and because this person is no longer serving. I mean, yes, let's agree. Kuna relationship with Afika Mahali. This person will kill you. And this, um, the thing is, for me, if if you're in a relationship with someone for whatever reason you personally decided to get in there it, it's 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 inhuman it's um it's not okay for you to abandon this person now because they're not measuring up mm -hmm. i think you should invest time just as you invested time and money and body for you to work on the relationship so now do the same now and invest time and resources and do whatever you can to help this person out of it and if it does not work from there then just pray to God to allow death and natural death to just separate Does that, you. does that, so okay, we've been touching mostly on gender-based violence. Yes. Perhaps now this is why there's an extreme of, a hey, go, kablo kufe. Mm -hmm. But does that include things like, uh, you know, basic, Jason Derulo, Jana Juzin, Meske, he has been cheating. Anyway, does that include something like that? Does, does, cheating. Yeah, does that, not just in marriage, but that not, the concept here, ride or die, Mutaniambia, where we are going, where we are riding to, and why we have to die. Yeah. Does that include that? Like, for example, your person maybe cheats on you, then because now you're invested, you are going to invest. And why invest. is he cheating on you? Mm -hmm. From Is it from you? Is it you who's not reciprocating them? Is it you who's not 
playing your role well? Oh my why? goodness. There, there are these why. people we call serial cheaters. Okay. Who, no matter what you do, but what I wanna. Then why did you marry? If he's a serial cheater, because why did they you are get hypocritical. There are people who know how to you mask up before not, you get into that situation you did deeply. Not take the time Let me tell you, know, you got married I've, probably uh, in six okay. months. It's not a no, problem, not only six months. I've got a story of a woman uh -huh. who dated courtship. Yani wali date for six years. Ilya kwe married. But the moment she set her foot in the marriage, just, the guy started cheating. Mm. The guy became a serial cheater and became that doesn't meet violent, logic. actually. That doesn't need logic because in six years, you can't tell me the person has been faithful and then the moment you get married, being, you're just not doing your research, I think. Maybe so, he was cheating before. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was. You just not. You were just okay. You know, you, you know. You could be... <laughs> You, because you're dating someone and you, so we say love is blind it's it's a statement we like to throw around and and especially the first impressions as you said you see someone in, and he, he meets whatever ticks you know you have like a cat yeah. mm -hmm. i want tall i want uh -huh. dark i want this 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 so he meets this and then you're you, you're blind all of a sudden you cannot see the etcs and you cannot tell me dating for six months for six years you will not notice this person let me problems. tell you there are people who know how to mask up mm, yani they no. mask up themselves and they they give you an a totally different impression of who they are and things come to explode later here's what my pastor told me mm -hmm. i'm going to bring uh, the advice of an elderly person he said uh, 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 and oh not he's not elderly if he hears i said elderly anyway <laughs> so he said this if you're going to get married to someone um the first thing is know each other's families uh, in a relationship we agreed kwanza kama we on a date for money and etc we were talking you're not in a relationship you're doing it bure kabisa so we're addressing the person who is now looking for goal term uh, for long term um goals yes so if you're going to invest if you want to get tied to a person he said you need to see his family and he needs to see your family and there's no option and there is absolutely no option and then he said he gave us an example you have to be smart with how you're doing these things in get him to invite him to your place or vice versa and then when you're there just tafuta mama mze hapo kwa kijiji just someone and go and tell them not from the family now mm -hmm. you can study when you see the family you will know mm -hmm. they will not be able to hide it and if you cannot get it from them and you're saying they're crafty and they're, they know how to mask it then look for a neighbor there and work it and be okay. End up patana na e muliza. Just an elderly person when you know you have seen this family, ask them, Mama, I've been married here. You have to be smart because you're not you're doing this for a lifetime. I'm getting married here. What do you think? If it's a wrong place, the mother will be like, Hey, why? <laughs> <laughs> will you because he, she knows the problem and you know you can never hide it's hard to hide these things and if it's an okay family she'll probably do something like hey you know you know you will see from the body language you will see from how she reacts from it so i think some of these things you can a cheater you're just being lazy if you're marrying a serial cheater because a serial cheater will be cheating on you every time you're just not doing your research and there's the other thing let know each other's families because you're getting tied to them and their family, whether you like it or not, because these are the people who have raised this person. So, so if you cannot get whatever he is from, from him, mm -hmm. then you can get it from his people. So we are not saying that after doing this, you will not be in a perfect relationship, but chances are you will not be married to someone. You will know who you're getting married to. Yes. I, I think that's very practical, but now, no, it sounds nice in theory. Okay. Because... I'm not disputing it. I'm yeah. just saying, aqua ground, because we had the same topic and we were asking, is it a must that when you meet uh, your significant other's parents come on a date? Mm -hmm. Like, if it's a must after that, that means marriage. But some people said it's not a must because no, things not. Yeah, could happen. But now the narrative was people don't even want to go see the parents. They just first get children and then now the children will take them mm, and then to their parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, there is no now, otherwise. Yeah. If it's, it's, it's on you because you did not do the research to understand if I'm like on anger issues, these people, they beat their parents and it comes from home most of the time. Mm -hmm. So you didn't do the research. And here's the thing. If you know you're getting married to someone who's a cheater and someone who gets angry, then you know how to deal with these people because we are agreeing. Let's just agree no one is perfect. Everyone will always have a shortcoming. Is, is it so possible? Knowing is better than getting into it and then it's coming on to you all of a sudden and you're like, oh, he's not the one who's 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 not the
No. Is it possible that we, we get into such relationships with Mtubure Kabisa with the expectation that ah at a change. I will change them. At a si at a change. Mm -hmm. Ama I can change them. Mm -hmm. eh, no. Ni, ni, ni train. Eh, no, we we'll do it. <laughs> no one changes by the way by training. People no, change when they well, want to change. Yes. That includes uh, girl child too. It's not just about the guys. Yes. So help me. Do you think that perhaps maybe unakanam to asama eh? Uyu, he doesn't know how to handle money, but I can teach him. Uyu, he keeps looking at other girls, but I will wear sexy clothes. Mm -mm. A girl too, too. We see me a booty, so. Aki, let me tell you, I had this guy one time I was dating, and um, this guy was kind of, you know, I was, I was kind of well, I'm a stabilized than him, so I was like the provider, mm -hmm. like a provider, you know, one party, uh, everything he wanted, and I would give him the money, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, yes. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, I was like, this guy will learn at a, at a job, and he will we'll grow together. Let me tell establish you. Establish family. Mm -hmm. It's got to, to a place. He needed some money, and I took a loan for him. Oh, wow. Well, well. Yes. Because I love, in fact, I'm in love, and you know, he the, by that time he was working, and so My I. Trust. <laughs> there are so many red flags already before you even finish that. There's so many. Okay, wait, wait just, just let finish. Finish. So that mm -hmm. is that is the analogy that I was yes. changing. Mm -hmm. So I took a loan for him, and he was like, um, I was like, he was working, and so I was expecting him to pay back. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you that guy me. Wow, Alini misuse. I had to pay the loan by myself. We broke up. He cheated on me. Well, I don't remember that you can't get any. What do you know? Wait, 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 wait. wait. What? Well, hey, this, love this, you. Let me tell you. I was told by someone if you're ever thinking of getting in this institution that is marriage or something serious, usi skize watu sana because unaza skia stories zingine bro ikupe baridi ata ukuit ata kablo janza. So the disclaimer, please try for yourself. Understand what to see, with, how to see red flags, but try for yourself. Uskubali mtu akuchote ndio ujito yapo, okay? Kipendwa, pendeka. But how did you deal with that, sis? We broke up. I couldn't take it. Wait, Kwanza, let me tell you, he cheated on me. So, that one was the extreme point. Mm -hmm. Cheating on me. Did you have that conversation before Afike Ipatia Kukuchit? Did you have that conversation about money? Like sit down, nimefanya hivi na hivi? Because I think as Africans, not just being youth or CG, what Africans don't like discussing finances. Yeah. They really don't like. Yeah. Uh, like me, can you listen to I, how much I earn? I, I'll be I? Bro, no, 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 no. But <laughs> even somewhere like China, uki patana mtu kwa basi, hai unaitua, oh, how much do you make? Like, it's, it's, it's that. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, before you date, you have to tell me what Yes, that's true. You draw that financial in So did you have that conversation? Ama uli yes, expect to, uli muangalia to be biased kumoja na uku mpikia ndo ukaona. We did, actually, uh -huh. we did. For quite some time. But you know, he was this guy. Ah, you know, I'm trying out some things. At a you know, I'll pick oh, you up. <laughs> <laughs> but fate. <laughs> but fate. <laughs> So that was, okay, when I was doing that, I was in real sense that this guy is going to change and he's going to be, you know. Did you see potential? Because you would, I, I'm not nitpicking what you're saying, but mm -hmm. there is a point where we said, to see Rushe Umtu, Johanna Kitu, let's invest. Sindio? Na see she invested. Si hadi uka yengiza pesa. Yo bet kidogo tu ikachome, ikachomeka. So, was she supposed to stay there? Ama to just call it quits? Ama the things I didn't First see? First of all, uh -huh. she got what she deserved because she was in a wrong relationship. Ha! Mm. Ha! Violence! 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 You got what she deserved because you're with this person and you're already playing the role of husband and wife and etc. You wouldn't help of course, because person. okay, we had no, that, no, no, we had that, that, we had that goal. After all, we are going for marriage. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You yeah. know, then you already jumped ahead of the. Because here's the thing. Um, hmm, let's get into one house. Kai pamoja. Nali parents. No, hey, tunenza servido. If we can cost share, it is actually we aren't living together. We aren't. I'm just giving a scenario of okay, fine. You're not living together then. You're living apart. But then you've already taken up the role of your couple now. And let me ask, if there was an instance of maybe a pregnancy, I'm not saying there was, you would have kept the baby. You would not be, you would not be in, uh, 
they would have been made parents, right? Mm -hmm. where, where do you so feel is the mistake here? The mistake was, mm -hmm. um, what was the relationship for? <laughs> Marriage. Then, wait, did you, who was the provider in this case? Did you discuss? Because I think that's the problem, that's the biggest problem. I personally, as a Christian, being in, in church, the man is the provider. And I'm not, and I'm a feminist. I believe in women power, it is ATC, but there's the natural order of things. And that's the problem right now. We have men who, and it's not a problem. I know a question you're going to say, if it's not okay to, Nafani support uh, Actually, boyfriend no, with money. Actually, I was mm -hmm. just going to ask, you know, uh -huh. these things are seasonal. COVID-19 has seen a lot of people unemployed. Yeah. So what happens if you were dating at the time mm -hmm. and he lost his job? Would you call it First quits? All, I don't think, you, you, look, if you're having sex and you're not married, why are we bringing sex in this? There is we're, no baby we're talking that. about money. We're talking about money. Money? Yeah, not sex. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why are you playing the role of providing and you're not in a marriage? But like we, my issue is why are you not married and you're providing? Because if you're speaking about, if you're talking about a couple who's married and in a house, then we can start discussing. Um, when he party, he give me this, give me that. So if we don't have money, we should not date. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm are you saying? Isn't it rules zawa to work kwa marriage? What you're doing, providing for your, huh? You, then you have courtship all wrong. Then okay. well, then we should start defining how a, the correct courtship and a, a relationship before marriage should look. <laughs> like. <laughs> we are talker. Okay, wait. Okay, just in this particular scenario, tell me how you would have approached it. You're you're dating someone. Really? Yes. Let's let's say. Wait, I've not set up the scenario for you. Okay. You're you're doing this all right. Okay. You're you're not having. You're not being intimate. You're not having mm -hmm. any intimate relations. Mm -hmm. You are going through the courtship process. Yes. You are being led by other people who are already in the institution that you are looking forward to being, which is marriage. Sure. But at some point. He can't take you out like he used to. Mm -hmm. And and not just that, you know, now he's out of his parents' home and he's struggling to make ends meet. You want to tell me this relationship will be on hold until no, he gets a job or hmm. the reason why you in a relationship is to help one another. When one falls short, the other one helps pick them up. Exactly. But then these roles should be well and properly defined. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the person who should be the provider. Yeah. And then there's the person who is the, play, the roles are different. You cannot, as a lady, you cannot play the role of a man, and as a man, you cannot play the role of a woman. So in so this scenario, we, we this break up until you get a job. No, that is what I'm saying. What I'm saying the, with her... With, no, no, I've with, given yes, yours. This is what will happen. Uh, so we're in a correct relationship, you're doing it, bizuri, bizuri. Mm. then don't let this person manipulate you. Because that was what he was doing. And to the point where he's taking loans, what was this loan for? For like a business so that you could advance your agenda together or for a phone exactly, or whatever? Exactly, yes. Did he do, did you follow up? Did he do the business? Did he? He did. Her? See, I told you he got financially stable after then, that. Then what happened? Then he left me to pay the loan alone. So when, okay, listen, he was in, he was not in a better position. So I helped him out at that point. Yes. But when good. he got there. He left you. He left he cheated. Mm. I he didn't give me back the money See, of which he knew very well. Clearly, you know, it's alone. You know where there's red flags. Mm -hmm. It's it's the moment sh he's okay with asking for money favors all the time from the girlfriend. He was in the moment. I, okay, she's okay with giving. Even with your husband, I think if I'm married, uh, well, with, as my pastor will say it. You have to be. It's in kupanga pesa. We know to not to let us kupanga. You do not just ask for favors and you be ready to give them because you love this person. They will use you and they will manipulate you. Because now the exact factor of I like this person and I'm already blind. I want to do everything and anything I can for this person. Or oh, then you fail because this person might take advantage of you. So you need to put boundaries in. Unasema no, ikifika hapa, unless you're starving and you see, there's things you do not do. Do not allow this person to take advantage of you. There must have been red flags. I was not in the relationship, but there must have been red flags. Actually. Because, the because even when you're saying it, you're saying, I used to be the one to give him mindo, nampea mindo, nampea mindo. So you're already complaining from the beginning. This, you're feeling like this person is not doing you know and I, I, did it, at the time it, it felt a lot i can i can see i can understand it feels a lot jota always end up kwambia eh then he hasn't it's already some it's small shame exactly yes, so it's i understand not right. but you you did it your intentions were pure 
Exactly. But you did it naively and then you got beat. It's got okay. We, we live, we learn. Even me, I've yes, come from character de institutional <laughs> development. Yes. I am an alumnus. So that's why I'm confident <laughs> mm -hmm. to have exactly. this panel with exactly. me. Yeah. So it's okay. It's okay to learn a uh, ground, literally. It's okay mm. to be hit in the face a little bit, sit no down, ungoje, eh, then you stand up again. It really, really is okay. It's just not okay to stay in a place so that's hurting you on the inside. Okay, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Leave. Go away. Hashtag is why in the morning. Okay, now time is about to depart. However, I want to ask. I, I, I heard somewhere. Let's say you get married now. The, or you get married now. The person you are today is not the person you'll be in 10 years. Mm -hmm. So your spouse will have married a person who is evolving. And mm -hmm. the and so opposite is true. Yeah. What happens if we just drift apart? Like at Dakosana, I just feel, you know what? I feel like we were supposed to be in this life together for the next 10, 15 years, but I think it's over now. Bye. That is not okay because I have people who've been married for 50 years and 60 years and uh, living full lives will say our marriage gets stronger as it got stronger as time went on. If your marriage is getting weaker or your relationship with this sister is getting weaker, then something is wrong. And you need to work on it, not just abandon your house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, I feel like uh, when you're evolving or when you're growing in marriage, there are some strategies that you should also put in place to make sure that your marriage is as lively as it was as you were starting. Mm -hmm. So you should have a plan. Yes, when we get here, yes, our marriage is boring but what should we do to light it up i'm to bring us the, to the memories when we are dating ama when we be a courting when we be a young you know you you get to 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 get used to somebody and so you should always look for something that will make you feel yes i feel new again i feel revived mm. in the marriage and to give you the strength to continue Cause, so cause with th I. without that one at least you're going to get bored of each other you're going to feel like yes no i thought i you're not the kind of person I married. You've changed and I feel like we are drifting apart. But you should strategize. You should put into place things that will help you lighten up your marriage. Yes. Well, in a sound, Kazimingi, so what yeah, you prepare? Work. Don't get into yeah, it. Yeah, a marriage is an investment. Just wait. Even if you're 40, you know, Sarah was 70 and she comes. Let me tell you. Uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, you know Will Smith's wife, uh, the one who slapped Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now Jada Pinkett's mom uh, got married, yes. I think that's the baby daddy, of, as in that's Jada's mom, dad. So he, she got married and then I think they divorced. But years later, they've come back to each other. Do you think now that's also possible? Kwa ground, amani, atutua kona pesa. It's possible. Mm -hmm. you, you well speaking as a person who supports divorce i don't support it i, I could sister. support <laughs> a separation <laughs> my thing is Yolewa, just be sure and it's it's not long suffering and long suffering doesn't even mean suffering for wrong for wrong reasons it's endurance and perseverance and knowing i'm dealing with a human as i am and if you're feeling chances are if this person is being toxic to you it's because you're probably they're probably feeling you're not okay for them too so mm -hmm. you need to work the thing is when you're getting together just when you're getting for marriage it's not for you to taste and jump and jump if you're doing that then kuna title yako flani unafa unapatiwa na sio 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 in my support for divorce okay don't get my point wrong okay in my support for divorce is where everything you've tried to make this marriage work out has failed you and, and you feel like in this you've tried to go talk to your pastors you've tried to go revive your marriage you've tried to pray for this but pray for this person he's not changing you've tried all the strategies you've separated for some time come back together and feel like no it's no. still not working <laughs> seriously you don't wait there and die but mm -mm. i don't support people to die in marriages mm -mm. i don't me neither. you can get <laughs> divorced exactly then why don't you live instead <sighs> go make your and it's not leaving this marriage to get into another marriage you're divorcing for your better self seriously i think i think you're you're all in the your hearts are pure it's just that she's not seeing why why you've let it go so far as to marry someone who's, who's the, yeah exactly. she, she, she but i also agree with you there's some things that you might not see but also pia sijai fanya research kama hiyo kuuliza kuenda kwa mutro alafu kuuliza mm. neighbor eh sijai enda hiyo extend so maybe perhaps <laughs> maybe when we start being yeah. so intentional with our things yes. yeah could, maybe when we be so intentional then 
the red flags will either show up sooner they must or they will always we are all human i mean people in forensic forensics no people in um what is this career called people who read your body language to tell if you're lying or not they mm -hmm. will tell you a human being is not made to lie the moment you lie there is Some, that something is that, that must show, show. Lying, so yeah. a cheater a serial cheater someone with <laughs> anger issues someone with whatever problems mm -hmm. they have mm -hmm. kuna red flags and if you're serious you want to get married and unajua marriage itakusaidia na just invest your time do not rush into it sio kitu ya kuambiwa haya umefungiwa nyumba come twende kwangu nikupele you know you in around uh -huh. and night amaliza two or three months if you bear me witness I mean, it will not most of them don't even last a week or three weeks you we, we fall have, apart because you're there for the wrong reasons we have a tired comrade who was telling us now he gave us a list about long nails and but he's oh, okay. trying he, to he say ah amesema to put extra makeup okay because we, i might have said makeup he's he's making sure to say i said extra makeup not just the normal what to kunje wanaweka wana kama vampire <laughs> well, yeah. don't look at other. Well, one man's meat is another man's point. You know, though. that woman invested a lot in that look, by the <laughs> way. So, if it is not yours to invest, know. go get yourself if, a girl who's yeah, like, oh, of course, natural. If you're no natural, go for team natural. Yes. You have your own list of characteristics. You have on your own mm, go list, list of virtues. So, just go on your checklist. Oh, and you. come on, let's team natural. Go yes. for team natural. And there yeah. are so many out here. Variety ni mingi. Usi kuna excuse una wachana kubasha. There are people for them. Mm. <laughs> so much violence on this set. Eh, <laughs> tired comrade. I feel tired also. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. Okay, okay. Parting shot, guys, because really, really, time has. I had to look at the fact that but I think time kido emet pati akisogo. So maybe let's start with you. Make it short. Give me your last words, really. If it, whatever you want to tell the audience, if it's you want to remind them what you do, or if it's parting advice on the topic. What about? Mm. I want to speak to young girls especially high school and the ones in campus because up on your vito mingis in a go wrong majority of them here's the thing get yourself busy don't be a busybody and don't be looking at everyone's lifestyle and comparing you to them i mean the bible will tell you because i'm a christian and i will not forget to say that you will be judged alone whether you're married to a perfect man who does not beat you and loves you for eternity life is yours and it's personal so you need to think of your personal goals and your destiny and how you will associate yourself with people who, will, who are going to help yourself and girl and boys personal goals you can do that for yourself so, so oh the camera i'm supposed to look at that okay. personal goals personal goals um just you know figure yourself out the people who around you will make you or break you and the people who you associate yourself with will also do the same so if you are serious na maisha yako kitu ya kwanza unafaa ku realize and notice is it's yours and it's yours individual and when you test the grave which we are all going to you're going to be alone so what will you have done with this life is your friend or your boyfriend or your husband going to be there no then from that perspective you will be able to now attract people who are going to be in support of whatever you're doing and in that same breath i want to say this if you don't know how to get yourself busy um we have an organization we're based in kayole um our cbu is called community for kids um and i want to appeal to schools and teachers especially um let's teach these kids how to keep busy i i i, I feel my heart bleeds when i walk in the streets and i find kids are uh, doing very um keeping themselves busy with very unconstructive things let's teach them martial arts let's teach them gymnastics let's teach them athletics and let's train them to be competent in whatever god has given them naturally that means talent mm -hmm. um yes can i give my contact sure so um you can find us we have a video due to the nature of the sensitivity of um, the nature of the business we're doing and dealing with schools and kids you're not allowed to post most of these videos but we have one for um just for you to get the idea you can watch us at uh, youtube c4k um my phone number is 0707417924 you can reach out to book um a show an entertainment show and we can show you how to be constructive with your time and doing things that will entertain and help the community yes. thank you baby girl um for the people who are dating out there date with a purpose and make sure first your dating life is uh, marked okay god is present 
present in your dating life. Include God in everything that you do. Pray literally for everything and be intentional in everything that you do. But if you find the partner you are dating is not the right one for you, or is getting too toxic for you, leave. White tough the person and at white five four Facebook, white five four channel on Twitter, white five four underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag is WCWOY in the morning. Now from myself, Valentine or at Color Me Val and the real amazing man, Ramaguko. We wish you a fantastic day. See you when we see you. To depression, I was so depressed.